It's a bunker built into a hollowed out mountain in Colorado. It's just one of the top secret shelters where 7,000 Americans will go to in the event of nuclear annihilation. The government built more than 100 of these bunkers and relocation facilities around the country. There's no room for families, wives, and children not included. The plans to get a small number of government officials out of Washington, out of major cities, and into these uh, bunkers around the country, and it doesn't include families. Gary Graff is the author of the new book, Raven Rock. The U.S. government's secret plan to save itself while the rest of us die. The title comes from this place, Raven Rock Mountain, a super secret bunker in Pennsylvania where Pentagon brass will relocate in a nuclear war. How do you get on this list and who's on it? Well, so the list includes your high ranking government officials, your cabinet leaders, your congressional leadership, members of the Supreme Court. Uh, as well as, you know, top aides, uh, you know, White House staff. Some people are on the elite list by accident. The bunker at Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado has its own Subway sandwich shop. If you just happen at uh, the time of the apocalypse to be the person manning the cash register at the subway, uh, you're going to be the only fast food employee in America who survives the nuclear war. AIDS, another secret bunker was located beneath Greenbrier, a luxury resort in West Virginia. It's now a museum. Behind this 25-ton blast door was a shelter for 400 government officials who could live for 60 days in dorms like this one. The bunker system has been used only once on 9-11. On 9-11, helicopters swooped in here to the Capitol and evacuated the congressional leadership as well as officials from across Washington out into these mountain bunkers around the country. Let's hope they're never needed Tell again. Tell me, since we have had this nuclear uh, warning, um, it's my understanding that there are countries, Russia is one of them, I think Switzerland is one, I think the United Kingdom is one, where they are going back and looking at their old Cold War bunkers. And in, in Switzerland, I believe that they're being mandated by government, you've got to go update the food and water in them. Is that true? That is true, yeah. And I mean, it's it's kind of ironic that the, the bunkers that were built by the Soviet Union in Ukraine have been sheltering people and, and saving probably tens of thousands of lives at this point. Um, but that has encouraged the rest of Europe to sort of reassess their, their position in terms of bunkers. Um, Switzerland is is uh, the most protected country on Earth, uh, aside from maybe North Korea, but we have no idea what's, what's going on, right. <laughs> really. Um, so uh, there is space for... Um, 102 percent of the population uh which is which is kind of astounding you know they've actually got uh 300,000 private bunkers uh inside switzerland and, and then 5,000 public shelters and most of those are um not just fallout shelters but blast shelters so those are those are nuclear biological and chemical filtered uh shelters that the population can take take shelter in. Alright, just wanted to share this quick clip, this, uh, oh, this super underground bunker all right, this huge, huge 50 million square foot underground bunker. All right, because it goes hand in hand with the scriptures. All right, and how only officials are going to be able to go there and not even with their families. All right, so they could save their, their congressional cabinet and so forth in the event of a, a nuclear fallout. All right, which they know is coming because it's prophetic and they're going to do they're going to do it. The Lord is going to put it in, in their hearts to do so, all right? And that's why the scriptures say this, Amos 9 and 2, though they dig into hell, all right? Digging down to the to the uttermost parts of the earth, okay? Though they dig into hell, then shall mine hand take them. That, so it doesn't matter where they go, wherever they these little rats try to scatter. Though they dig into hell... Thence shall mine hand take them. 
though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. All right? Even if they climb up to heaven, all right, with these space stations, all right, the Elon Musk setting up, they want to set up two and fourth travel between planets and shit, you know, SpaceX. All right. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, all right, that's a, that's a huge mountain in the so-called Middle East. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out. Thence, and they, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. All right. So Leviathan, you know, where you get stories like Godzilla, go, you know, the the this dragon beneath the the ocean depths. All right. There's there's creatures that's gonna be cut loose in the last day that they're just being preserved for the judgment of Babylon the Great and these heathens, these wicked ass heathens, and two thirds of the Lord's own people, wicked Jake. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, so doesn't matter if, if they climb up to the heavens, they're on top of mountains. They're in the depths of the ocean. They though they dig into the earth. That's what the Lord is saying here. Whether you dig into the earth and see your bunkers, whether you go into your underground cities and 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 your your or Atlantis, Atlantic Atlantis city. All right. Whether you go up to the to the space stations. All right, your Elysium and all that shit. Or whether you're in the top of mountains, the Lord is still gonna get your ass. Okay? That's why this is not, we don't teach no flea doctrine to our people because we know that we need a savior. If not, there is no escape. There is no um, being on your own without the Heavenly Father. All right, the heavenly Father wounds and He heals. He controls all things. So, it's either salvation in the day of the Lord's wrath, or you're gonna get dealt with along with the world. This is Noah's Ark all over again. But we—that's why the Lord said that it's like the days of Noah. All right, we're gonna need the Lord to be our Ark and save us. Okay, because. Anybody outside the ark, like the days of Noah, were destroyed. Though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out. Thence, and they, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And though they go into captivity before their enemies, Thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. All right? You're going to get captured by your enemies, and the Lord's going to command that their sword slays you. And I will set mine eyes upon them for evil and not for good. All right? So those that the Lord has an, a beef and indignation with in those last days, okay? He's going to set evil upon you, whether it's by the sword, whether it's by pestilence, all right, whether it's by fire, this thermonuclear destruction, whether it's by famine, starving you out. His eyes are going to be set upon you for evil and not for good. This is why they call us a hate group, because we bring out the truth, the ugly of the scriptures. But if you don't know the truth, the bad, the good, the bad, the ugly of the scriptures, then you don't know about the complete God, the comprehensive God, the all-knowing, all-wisdom God. If you know only about the love parts, you don't know to fear him, to have a healthy fear of him. All right? It says that the Lord's going to set upon you evil. I thought that the Lord was incapable of evil. 
All right? So evil meaning bad time. The Lord could set upon you bad time if he has a beef with you. If you're not, if you're just a blatant, wicked sinner that doesn't give a damn, he's going to have a beef with you. And he's going to take it up with you in due season. And the Lord God of hosts is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt, and all that dwell therein shall mourn, and it shall rise up holy like a flood, and shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. All right? This place is going to be drowned like the flood of Egypt. All right? But by thermonuclear fire, a flood of fire is coming. Because that's what the real rainbow represented, that the Lord wasn't going to flood the world with water again, okay? But he is going to flood it with fire, all right? And the Lord of God, the Lord God of hosts, is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt, all right? He's going to touch this land severely. Has he not begun to begin to visit the world which he made? That's why we're seeing these sightings of these so-called UFOs. That's why they're building bunkers. They're trying to get away from shit. But, but they're in a trick bag. And the Lord of hosts is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt. And all that dwell therein shall mourn. And it shall rise up holy like a flood, and shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. All right? So the Lord is a terrible power. Okay, he's a he's a power to be feared, revered. Okay, people are gonna know that he's not a game in the last days. All right, so all of us that can't that are don't have a, a bunker waiting for us. All right, that we're gonna need salvation out of this place because we're not Esau Edom, and we have money for these fifty million square feet bunkers. All right. We're going to need the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, the real ones. Almighty Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shah to save us. All right? So turn back to the Word. Eat this Word. Eat this roll, how the scriptures say. Okay? Digest this Word. Make it a part of you. And pray for mercy. Pray for grace. Pray for wisdom, knowledge, instruction, righteous things. For the Lord to cover you and your household. All right? And move within order. All right? So with that, I pray, brothers, and the few sisters was edified. Till next time, shalom. All honor, love, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Bar Hashem, Shalom.